and uh, by the time you finish your mandate, in, at the end of the five years, you should be able to say, yes, these are the things I have touched myself and the executive, and I'm able to achieve this and that and that. The team of this year's event, promoting synergies for efficiency and effectiveness, is well placed. A call for collaborative effort in a view to better the lives of the entire teaching fraternity the embodiment of knowledge and wisdom. You know, nobody can achieve it all by himself or herself. GTU is one of the key players in education. You know, we have our partners. You know, Mopsi is one of them, and uh, all other partners that have been mentioned, uh, Ifanet, you know, Favigam, you know, Action Aid, all those things. So you need to, you know, you know, mobilize all those, you know, organizations and uh, other civil society organizations and uh, NGOs, you know, to make sure that, um, you know, all the things that we want to, you know, in terms of quality education, we, we can achieve them. Teachers alone cannot achieve it, or ministry alone cannot achieve it. So that, you know, synergy has to be mobilized to make sure that, you know, we achieve, you know, the target we, we want to, you know, achieve, especially those that set in the, in the policy document, which uh, have some connection with the MDGs. The Gambia Teachers Union, today 75 years old, continues to enjoy a fruitful partnership with the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, especially in this era of the present permanent secretary, Papgat Boy. The reason is obvious, to keep the status of the teachers bright for the attainment of the ministry's set targets. The coordinating committee meeting is a good example of the synergy that, you know, I mean, GTU has been engaged in with MOPSI. Another example is our Best Teacher Award. We have virtually given the leadership role to the GTU to help us identify the best teachers to award. And I don't think we can talk about efficiency and effectiveness when it comes to synergy, leaving that important aspect behind. Matar Bale is the national coordinator of the Education for All Campaign Network, one of the collaborating institutions with the GTU. Mr. Chairman, we wish to express our solidarity with you. With you. Today, we need to address issues of access, retention, participation, completion in school, and quality education for all. That cannot happen with, without quality teachers, which is your motivation as GTU by serving the teachers at all times and in all circumstances, again promoting synergy among each and every one of us. We want to conclude by recognizing and saluting the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education for providing the civil society the pace and environment to complement their efforts. I encourage you, delegates, to take this opportunity to think about how you can play a role and what role you can play as a member of the teaching fraternity or a partner. We should endeavor to continue to analyze our strengths and weaknesses, our opportunities and our threats, and also remember that it is through unity of purpose and action that we have come thus far. Therefore, the challenge now is how to keep the flock together. This event and many others championed by the GTU with the motto Solidarity Forever is evident of their resolve to build a teaching fraternity that can take a lead role in the development of the country's human capital as the bedrock for national development. Louis Mendy, GRTS. The National Agricultural Research Institute and the Department of Agriculture on Friday received office equipment, furniture, and other materials from West Africa Agricultural Productivity Program, WAP. Modujalo tells us more. The Agricultural Productivity Program, funded by the World Bank and the Spanish Trust, is a sub-regional project that benefits farmers, agricultural producers, and all actors of the value chain process that will yield agricultural productivity in the drive to food self-sufficiency in the sub-region. According to officials, the WAP project has four main components. It's enabling the conditions for sub-regional cooperation in the generation and dissemination and adoption of technologies. And of course, part of that component, the WAP is supposed to strengthen networking of knowledge management, inform knowledge management information and communication system to share agricultural technologies. And as we are here today, 
the set of equipments which ranges from computers, printers, scanners, photocopiers is in a bid towards achieving this objective of the work. The other components include building the capacities of researchers, improve infrastructure, and strengthen the web-based system. The demand-driven technology generation, according to Seetiji and Sose, added over 20 sets of computers and printers, furniture and other electronic devices that we are given to Nari and the Department of Agriculture. I assure you that this is the beginning but not the ending. As far as the WAP is concerned, it is within its global objective to strengthen research and extension, which has been, which has been, which have been encountering, you know, a, a lapse over the years. But I think most of you can bear us witness that since the WAP started, we it was able to create many forums where researchers and uh, extensionists, you know, KBR are coming together to share and care for each other for the global objective of improving agricultural production and productivity. General of Nari, Dr. Babu Job, up on the benefits of this intervention. So far that the, our human resource base now, in terms of number and quality of personnel we have, our science potential has risen so high. Now the only thing that we need to reinforce is to enhance the work environment so that we can enhance the performance from these personnel. And that's exactly what this activity is going to do today. For his part, Brother Juve of the World Bank said performance calls for team spirit. A team, see the sector, not individualism, move from that a kind of tough defendants. This is, you know, the ministry, this is the department, this is NARI, this is the PCU. No, move as a sector and the permanent secretary has the responsibility to set the tone so that the sector moves as a sector rather than move in fragments. The permanent secretary, Ministry of Agriculture, Alpha Marong, said emphasis is now on productivity, not production. He commended government for bringing such a project as geared towards providing the appropriate inputs and techniques that will facilitate agricultural productivity. Mission must be given to His Excellency, Chief Professor Dr. Al Aj Jami, who opened, took it upon himself at, at the level of his level and, his, and, and at, at the level of his, at his personal level to uh, approach the World Bank, according to what Dr. Ture told me, and he was, he was in your presence, Mr. Mr. Jallo, uh, to make sure that the Gambia is included in this program. So therefore, I think we must, as a gathering, recognize that. And on behalf of the minister, my honorable minister, Mr. Sol honorable Solomon, Sol uh, Solomon Owens, I would like to ex extend the appreciation of this Ministry of Agriculture to His Excellency for bringing such a valuable project to this country. And I think also I would not do justice to uh, the project implementation unit. I've been uh, out of uh, service for a while, but all the good things I hear about agriculture are alluded to, uh, to, the, to, the, to, to the project coordinating unit of, of the WAP. The materials were later distributed to the beneficiaries. This presentation is the latest as part of a series of interventions under the West Africa Agricultural Productivity Program. Maure Jalo, GRTS. Well, you can monitor GRTS Radio live on our website, and that's on www.grts.gm. Well, time now to take our first break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the international news. Stay tuned then. Welcome back to the news. Mali's new transitional government is facing scathing criticism from the opposition United Front for the preservation of the republic and democracy. This as President John Kunda Traole nominates three individuals as special presidential advisors. Meanwhile, the opposition parties say they are going to contest the decision in the courts, arguing that it could open a Pandora's box. We have more in this report. As if to show that they are united, 
President Dion Kunda Taore and his Prime Minister arrived together in Kuluba, the presidential palace in Bamako. Only four days